staggering number of Canadians, more than 117,000, report being victims of intimate partner violence each year. Women's groups are joining forces to demand more be done to protect vulnerable people as Ontario takes steps to declare it an epidemic. CTV's Javier Boschman reports. Women defending women gathered outside a courthouse south of Montreal. Louise, Josiane, Elisabetta. They're demanding justice for victims of intimate partner violence. It just feels so close, you know? It feels like it could be anybody. And it's sad to hear that, again, someone else was murdered. That someone was Josiane Fauché, just 27 years old. She was found dead earlier this week. Her former boyfriend was charged with second-degree murder. It's just really not just that he came to us like this. Josiane's sister, Julia, says she had told her she was trying to escape a violent relationship. Now she says her only comfort is that she told Josiane her baby sister she loved her when they last spoke. Statistics show a woman is killed by a current or former partner every six days in this country. And yet, say advocates, not enough is being done to stop the murders. Ontario has now moved toward declaring intimate partner violence an epidemic. 30 women last year were killed in 30 weeks in this province. It's a designation advocates hope will lead to more money for shelters, more services. But they're also pushing for tougher laws, asking the federal government to bring in coercive control laws, in essence criminalizing patterns of control. Our volition is to ensure that we are working on ensuring that particularly women are protected from domestic violence and that coercive control is part of that and we recognize that and we need to move on. And the women's groups here say they will continue to call for help, continue to call on the government to put in more money. Geneviève Beauchemin, CTV News, Longueuil, Quebec.